Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great and rare Class B camper van value from Parkway RV Center. Today, we're going to look at, just came in, a 2004 Road Trek 190 Popular, built on the Chevy Express 3500 one-ton chassis, which in 2004 ranked number one in J.D. Power and Associates van chassis. Um, 86,000 miles. It's 20 feet long. Uh, great condition You know these vans are easy to drive and park as a pickup truck or an SUV folks One of the most fuel-efficient motorhomes you can buy and one of our most popular sellers Sitting on uh, I can't read the date code because it's got that newer style date code uh, Michelin LTX tires, which is normally a good sign somebody takes care of something when they spend almost double the money to put Michelins on an RV um, versus a regular uh, no-name tire. But if anybody can interpret the date code, these newer date codes, they're not like the old ones. It's 08HX. 08HX. Since they haven't started using those newer date codes till about two and a half, three years ago, I'm going to assume those tires are no older than that. Anyway, folks, looking around this camper van, it's great. Home and, uh, Home and Park Motorhome's been around since 1974, and uh, the Road Trek is the best-selling Class B camper van of all time and the number one seller since 1990. Folks, that's 28 years the reigning king of Class B motorhomes. And they don't do it because they're the cheapest. When they're new, they're actually one of the most expensive ones you can buy. The, this thing, when it was brand new, cost as much as a base model Class A, or even uh, more than a base model Class A. But they build them high quality. This is the only brand, folks, that um, they use extensive independent test, uh, rollover test, crash test, uh, fuel system uh, safety checks. They don't have to do that because the, the Chevy Express does that on the chassis, but they go ahead and build the motor home and test them too. And uh, just to give consumers more confidence and to build a better unit. And like I said, uh, when you say Class B camper vans or road treks, first thing that comes to most people's mind. Uh, solid one piece fiberglass seamless roof, so very little maintenance up there. The Michelin tires look like new. 2.8 Onan generator with 160 some odd hours on it. And uh, it does run, folks. The reason I don't have it running because obviously it's set for a long period of time, so it's surging a little bit. Um, I'm going to have it fixed. It's probably just a carburetor needs to be taken off, rebuilt, or replaced. I'll have that done in the next couple of days, so don't worry about that. It'll have a functioning running generator. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get this one online for the weekend. Now, folks, you may have noticed I'm kind of in a different spot. Uh, today's Saturday around lunchtime. Well, there are so many people on our lot that I actually had to drive the van off premises. We've got an auxiliary shop about a mile from our dealership that we use when our main shop gets covered up. And I actually had to drive it down here because literally um, I, couldn't, I couldn't find a place to park to film a video without somebody interrupting me or somebody getting in the way. So keep that in mind. The reason I'm telling you that, folks, is keep that in mind when you do come down to look if it's on a Saturday. You know, right when I can't, when I left, there was 26 carloads of people. I have four salary-based salespeople, so it's pretty much self-service on Saturday. Um, you know, if you want to come talk to a salesperson, um, you know, best to come uh, Monday through Friday. You know, you can certainly come on Saturday and look, but you're pretty much self-service on Saturday, or you may have to wait on a salesperson if you don't have an appointment. Anyway, folks. This fan gets about 15 miles per gallon. This was a new RV trade-in. So we drove it about almost 600 miles back up here from the RV dealership that traded for it brand new. And the, how we get a lot of these vans, folks, you know, we've been in business 50 years. We've got connections and influences and, and all that everywhere. So we've got a couple of big new RV dealers that do not sell used RVs to the public. Of course, what happens is people always want to trade so we appraise all their trade-ins for them, and in return we get first dibs on all their on all their trade-ins. So if it meets our criteria for condition, um, we get to buy it for what we appraised it for. 
this it's a great system for everybody because it allows us to hand pick what we want to buy to sell to our customers and coincidentally the ones that we don't buy because the conditions too rough other RV dealers buy but we get first dibs on them so that's why that's one of the amazing many reasons for those of you who subscribe to my channel you see such nice RVs that you normally can't find at other RV dealerships but they do not sell to the general public they only sell new to the general public not used so um, and it took a lot of years to get into that to get to that point folks and that's where 50 years of experience works for us and works for you because you get these nice clean uh, motor homes you can't find anywhere else 86,000 miles runs and drives great no check engine lights dash air is cold got a six gallon DSI water heater seats look great um, you know carpets look great I'm probably going to replace them anyway because there is one stain I'll show you underneath the table on the back carpet where somebody spilt some food and didn't clean it up um, and for no more than it costs to carpet these little bands I mean it's kind of crazy not to but the seats look great door panels look great dash windshield looks great it's got an 8100 pound towing capacity which is more than a 30 or 32 foot class C has it's got a 6 liter Chevrolet Vortec engine 300 horsepower 360 pound feet of torque all you need for this little van folks and then some let's step inside as we step inside folks I mean you can look you can tell the quality in a road trek right off the bat you know this is a 190 popular so it doesn't have the captain's chairs it's pretty much a couple's motor home only and majority of people that's that's who buys these I mean you, you can't really put a family of four in a in a 20-foot camper van and expect to be comfortable uh, see let's see here get the exact mileage 86 533 and you can see no ABS lights check engine lights none of that nonsense the the dash air even though it's 90 degrees outside as you can see uh, it's pretty comfortable in here it's doing a great job keeping it comfortable uh, even at idle we're, we're getting good air out of the uh, you can see we're blowing and of course as you go down the road that'll actually get colder but considering we're at idle that's for a Chevrolet that's that's pretty cold air conditioner um, and it'll drop down to below 40 when you're going down the road solid wood cabinets I mean road trek for what these things cost new there's your auxiliary table that table sits up right here and you can swivel both front chairs around to have eating service for two people uh, solid surface countertops of course I've got a factory sales brochure that I leave in it and on the website and on the video ad I'll have a link to a uh, factory brochure so you can study all the specs three cubic foot three-way RV refrigerator with a little freezer uh, it runs off 12 volt runs off electric and it runs off LP gas I'm, so it's it's there all your books and manuals countertops look good that's what I was talking about in the back folks I don't know if you can even see it on camera but it's got a couple little stains on the carpet and for no more carpet that's in this van I'm gonna go ahead and replace it um, with and it's going to be just as close to that color as I can possibly find you've got a cool cat electric heat pump and air conditioner one of the things I love about road trek folks is they don't put those gaudy roof top air conditioners there's a reason for that first of all you don't need 13,500 BTU of cooling in this small area. That's just overkill. You know, 8,000 BTU or 10,000, whatever that happens to be on that cool cat, is more than enough to keep you comfortable in here. And that also is an electric heat pump, too. And you've got an auxiliary propane furnace. So, you know, you don't have to have a big generator to pull it. And, um,. Another thing too, for those of you who happen to be in a RV restricted community, these road treks don't have that big ugly air conditioner sticking up on the roof. So it looks more like a regular van and it may allow you to get away 
uh, to get around the RB restrictions because at first glance it looks just like a regular conversion van because it doesn't have that air conditioner sticking up. And the good thing, another good thing about it is, folks, if that cool cat ever goes out and you don't want to pay the money for a new one, you can go to Walmart, get you a uh, window top roof air for a couple hundred bucks, stick in there, you're good to go. Anyway, folks, another nice thing about the 190 Popular in these newer Chevrolet Express chassis is they're a little bit wider, and you've actually, the sofa and the table in the back folds down and makes a king-size bed or two twin-size beds. So, you know, you can't even, it's hard to find a king-size bed in a 40-foot in a Class A motorhome or a big Class C, but you've got one right here in a 20-foot Class B. Uh, look back here, you've got a flat screen, let me see if I can swivel around here, you've got a little flat screen TV, you've got a built-in inverter so that you can power your air conditioner while you're driving down the road, or not your air conditioner, but your TV and, and possibly your refrigerator while you're driving down the road. Um, the floor, of course, I've got, it's got removable carpet that's in the back under the sofa for this middle area, but you want to take it up, of course. Most people never lay it down because they take a shower or something. you got to remove it up. You can see adjustable shelves in the closet. They don't waste any space. Open this up. Here's your fully in, here's your side bathroom. Uh, toilet, and it's got a shower. And, and I'm going to try to attempt to show you how this shower works, at least the best way that I can one-handed. Um, what you do is that shower, and if this table wasn't here, I wouldn't, uh, I'd be able to do this a lot easier. That door opens up and gives you a privacy barrier. And again, folks, y'all forgive me, I'm doing this strictly one-handed. But the curtain goes all the way around this vent. And, gives, and of course, that guards you from getting water everywhere. And you take your shower. You've got a drain that picks up, that this bottom panel picks up and you've got a drain underneath it um, for your shower. So it's not something that an adult my size, I'm 6'4", 280 pounds, is going to be able to use. It's not something you probably want to use every day. You know, if you're at campgrounds, of course, you know, your bathhouses are always your best choices uh, for taking a shower. But if you um, have to use it, it's there. You know, like I said, not something you want to use every day. It's one of those things, you know, you haven't had a shower, you've been traveling, hadn't had a shower in a couple of days, yeah, you probably want to use it. Um, but just for everyday use, you know, you don't, um, you probably don't want to use it for everyday use. You can if you want to, of course, just a little bit awkward. Anyway, folks, I, I try to be honest with you. I've been around these vans for a long time. I've been around RVs for a long time. And for those of you who watch my videos, you know I pretty much say like it is. Uh, anyway, got a padded headliner, a fantastic vent fan, and you can feel that air conditioner back here. It's, it's cooling off nicely. Um, plenty of lights in it. Uh, back doors open up, the barn doors. Like I said, it's got an 8,100 pound towing capacity hitch, so if you want to put a runabout, uh, like a car or something behind you or a boat, you can with no problem. Uh, this unit, folks, you know, I, I, you know, I, I don't go by the NADA on these vans because they're pretty much impossible to buy these things for NADA. Um, as many of you know, you can't touch them for what the book says they're worth. And if you call NADA and ask them to find you a 2004 road trek with good miles like this one, for what they say it's worth, they're going to hang up on you because it doesn't happen. They don't buy and sell RVs, so they really don't have much of business value in it. But I do have a third-party software that I buy and sell all of my RVs off of. And this third-party software, of course, costs us a lot of money. It searches, literally searches every single lock unit on the internet and brings them up on a screen with the price. And, um, and I can scroll through them and look at the conditions and the miles and list them by mileage too. And basically, I set it for 20,000 miles plus or minus what this one has. And the average retail price of what these are bringing online, this exact make and model within 20,000 miles of this one, in this condition and grade, is 
dollars. That's the average asking price for this make and model motorhome on the internet. I'm pricing it for $39.9 with a warranty, a 90 day nationwide limited warranty. Of course, it's going to have new carpet in it. The generator is going to function perfectly. And, um, and all that for under $40,000. Now, folks, um, like I said, if, 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 you need to, if you need to look up an ADA, you're certainly welcome to, but you can't touch them for that. I mean, you know, you can be looking for years, looking for one for NADA, while everybody else that was looking at the same time you did has had theirs and bought theirs and enjoying it. And at the end of the day, folks, you, you still don't have one. Um, I buy these things. If you've got one of these for sale, folks, I will be happy to make you an offer for it if it's in nice condition. If it's junk, if it needs work, I don't want it at any price. But if it's in nice condition, miles don't really scare me on these vans. I normally don't buy high mileage motorhomes, but when it comes to these vans, if it's been taken care of, I will buy these things and they sell just as fast with high miles as they do with low miles. You have to realize the kind of person that owns these vans, they don't let them sit in the driveway and become driveway queens like they do the big class A's that they only get out once or twice a year or the class C's. I mean, people get these vans out, they use them for second vehicles, they use them for day trips, they use them for tailgating, ball games, sporting events. Uh, you know, you got kids that are doing softball tournaments, drive the van. Drive your, drive your road trek over there. You've got a place to go with air conditioning, you can cool off, have something cold to drink, fix you a, a nice lunch, sit back, watch TV between games if they're in a tournament. You know, I mean, there, there's so many things you can use these vans for besides camping and a lot of people buy these vans to travel in a lot of couples I've, I've had several couples or two couples came in and, and split it up and bought one to travel to national parks and go to casinos and festivals and things like that and what they'll do is travel in it and stay in a hotel this way when they're traveling they got a bathroom, they've got a power source in case somebody's on an oxygen machine or something like that. And uh, they got a place they can fix some uh, lunch without having to stop at a restaurant. And, um, and you know, you can stay in if you have to. I mean, there's just so many versatile reasons, versatile uses for one of these vans. Besides just camping, of course, you know, a lot of couples like these because they're great on gas. They get about 15 miles a gallon, which be honest with you folks, my full-size pickup truck uh, barely gets that. And you certainly can't, and it certainly doesn't have a generator and a fridge and an air conditioner and a bathroom and a kitchen in it and a king-size bed, now does it? So, uh, you know, they're one of the most fuel-efficient motorhomes you can buy. Unfortunately, they're also one of the highest demand motorhomes on the secondary market. That means they're in very short supply. I have some good connections to get these and that's thanks to our 50 years of experience in the RV industry. I have dealers all the time call me up. Hey, where do you get these vans at? Hey, uh, can you put me in touch with them? I want to buy some. No, I'm not going to tell you where I get these vans from because I don't want other dealers getting them. You know, I have probably the largest selection of used Class B camper vans in this price range and under than anybody in the United States right now. I've probably got about eight to 10 vans right now, all of them under $40,000, many of them under 30,000. So I've definitely got a van for you if you're in the market for one of these vans. Um, and I buy every, and if you've got one of these for sale folks, like I said, if you're for sale by owner, I bought one yesterday. Uh, a lady has been watching my videos from South Georgia and uh, called me, I made her an offer on the van, she took it. I sent somebody down there, they brought it back in this morning. Um, and I buy them like that all day long, folks. So if you've got one for sale, give us a call. We'll make you a cash offer on it and um, and get and come pick it up. I don't care how far away it is. If, it's, if we can make a deal, I'll send somebody after it. Anyway, folks, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Uh, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Of course, that second number, if you've got one for sale, that's the number you want to call as well. 423-605-6747. Um, we have two prices on this motorhome. Uh, option A, which is the one that 80% of you are going to take, is $39.9. That's haggle-free, firm. Like I said, it's almost $9,000 
under the average asking price for a 2004 190 popular. It's going to include, of course, uh, what's considered for a Class B motorhome, a low mileage Class B at 86,000 miles. Um, it's going to be checked out, ready to go by our certified RV techs. Where, you know, we're going to have that generator running flawlessly. It's going to have new carpet in it. It's going to be cleaned up. Everything, uh, we're going to check everything on it, make sure it works. If it doesn't, we're going to fix it, repair it before you pick it up. Uh, you get a 90-day nationwide limited warranty because I know most of you are going to be traveling hundreds of miles to buy from us. Uh, in some cases, thousands of miles. So this way, if you in the in the rare chance that in the first 90 days after we checked it out that it needs something, you don't have to drive that distance back to bring it to us. And while you're certainly welcome to, you don't have to because this is actually a warranty company that uh, most dealers take. So you know you can take it to your local RV dealer service department if you didn't want to bring it back to us. Anyway, folks, that's included. After it's been through service, you know, we don't check these units out until we sell them. Uh, my service manager, after you purchased it, it'll get in line to get checked out. Right now, we can get it done in about a week's time. So I can get this van to you really quickly, ready to go with no worries, no stress, no worries about taking it out and using it and something not working. I mean, we're going to go through it. We're going to check it and uh, make sure everything works and repair anything that doesn't at no additional cost to you. Um, and after it's been through service, my service manager will call you, set up an appointment for you to come pick it up. And uh, the tech that checked it out is gonna spend some time with you, give you a one-on-one -on -one personal walkthrough, showing you how to operate everything, um, giving you tips, tricks, and pointers. And, um, you know, telling you everything about it that he knows. Uh, anything he had to repair on it, he'll show you that. You can record him with your camera. I mean, folks, it doesn't get much more fair than that. And when you pick it up, he'll show you how to deploy the awning and, and all that good stuff. So definitely, um, you know, if you've never owned one before, definitely need to recommend option A just for the walkthrough alone. Um, also, you get a year of free camping. Good at select RV resorts nationwide. I stayed in one last week, and for a couple of nights, it was great. You get up to 21 nights free in a 12-month period for free, uh, up to seven nights at a time, absolutely no cost to you. Um, I mean, that's a couple thousand dollars worth of camping right there, folks, you get for free. And these are nice RV resorts, not, not your standard state park or KOA campground. These are privately owned RV resorts and um, tremendous positive feedback from people who have gone and stayed at them that have bought RVs from us. And it's free. I mean... <laughs> Anyway, also get a starter kit with all your camping essentials in a big five-gallon bucket. You also get a, uh, a drive-out tag and instructional DVDs at no at all included, all inclusive, thirty-nine nine, plus applicable sales tax. Um, no extra fees. There's no dock fees. There's no prep fees. No setup fees. No no acquisition fees. Uh, you know, these other dealers, they try to charge you thousands of dollars on fees after you come to an agreement on the price, and they don't tell you about it till you get ready to sign on the dotted line. Don't, just walk out, folks. Don't don't pay those fees, I'm going to tell you why. They hate it when I tell you this, but they're all 100% dealer profit, all 100% unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV. You know, we're family owned and operated for 50 years, folks. You don't stay in business that long unless you treat people right. You sell nice RVs and you sell them for less. And that's exactly what we do, folks. We sell almost 600 used units a year. We have become one of the largest, oldest, and most successful independently owned used RV dealers in the United States today. We've got 140 plus used RVs on the lot right now you can look at. Try to find another dealership with 140 used RVs on their lot right now that you can come by and look at. That's why we have 20-something car loads of people on the lot right now, folks. Nobody else has our inventory. We've got the largest selection that I can find online in a 500-mile radius of actual units on the lot that you can look at. You know, we did away with everything that everybody hates about buying a used vehicle. We did away with. We did away with haggling. Nobody likes haggling. Instead of pricing this thing 49 dollars like everybody else has, we priced it $39.9 firm haggle free and give you the warranty we give you all those extra services for less than what you're going to pay at another dealer 
just for the camper van itself without a checkout, without a warranty or any of those other features that we give you for less and no fees. We did away with sales fees. We did away with commission salespeople. All of our salespeople are salary based. There's no sales pressure, no games, gimmicks, trouble or drama. My salespeople get paid the same whether you buy one or not. So that eliminates that. And nobody hates high pressure salespeople. You know, you go to these other dealerships, you know, you can't just look on their inventory on the lodge. You have to go through a sales office, give them your personal information. Um, you get assigned some high pressure, fast talking salesperson that tries to sell you everything you look at because they're on commission. You have to pay more to pay that. So you have to pay that salesperson's 25% commission, uh, which is 25% of the gross profit. That means their RVs are going to be priced higher to cover their salesperson's commission. And that means they get rewarded for ripping you off because the more profit the dealer makes, the more money the salesperson makes. So they're going to try to get you for every dime that they can. You know, we did away with that. Salary-based salespeople, no commission. That's one reason why our prices are so much lower. Um, no extra fees. You know, you can come to our dealership. You don't have to go through a sales department. You don't have to give up your personal information and have them call and bug the ever-loving piss out of you. Um, 20 times a day until you either tell them off or they sell you an RV. Uh, you know, folks, you know, my guys are non-commissioned. They know they don't have to force you to buy anything. If you're looking, you're an adult, you don't have to be told you have to buy this. We would rather you come to us than us come to you. We'd rather you make up your decision. Hey, I, I want to buy one. I want to buy this one. This is the price. Come on in, sign up. There's no, there's no sales pressure at all. That's, that's the way buying and selling should be, folks. I hate commission salespeople, and I'm sure you do too. Uh, but anyway, it's 399. Option B is if you buy, the only way we discount a price is if you buy the unit just like it said. It's no warranty, no inspection. Of course, we'll have the generator and the new carpet in it. Uh, generator fixed and new carpet. But if you can, if you want an option B price without all those extras, we will discount the unit what those services cost us. Call us for a price on option B, and I'm not asking you to make a decision based on my video or my pictures uh, if, whether you want to take option A or B. Um, you know, you can come, look at this motorhome, call us, let us know you're coming before you come any significant distance, folks. I, I can't stress this enough. I never delete my YouTube videos. Today's June 2nd, 2018. Uh, if it's June 3rd, 2018, pick up your phone, call our salespeople, and make sure it's still available before you drive any significant distance to come look at this motorhome um, because it may have a deposit on it. Let me give you an example. Uh, for those of you who watch my channels, I put a 2003 Trail Light uh, 250 Class B Plus online last night right before we closed for $29.9. Guess what, folks? First thing this morning, guy calls, leaves a deposit on it. That's how quick they can sell. I've sold these things in as little as 45 minutes after they get posted online. Especially when it's a smaller motorhome like a Class B van. They, there's literally 100 buyers for every one of these on the market. So there is fierce competition uh, for these Class B vans. And let me tell you how bad it is, folks. I've had people that have come in and looked at one, and it had a, they didn't call ahead, and they got here and found out it had a deposit. I've had people offer me more than I was asking for to sell it to them over the people that had the deposit on it. Of course, I told them, no, I don't, I don't do business like that. Um, but they've actually offered me uh, actually more than what I 